going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the spoiler free review for trap this is written and directed by m night Shyamalan, and it is starring josh hartnett ariel donahue uh kid cuddy and russ and several others now i can't remember her name but the the girl who was friends with megan fox well not megan fox but Lindsay lohan in confessions of the teenage drama queen because i love that movie so i recognize her easily don't remember her name though but the film is revolving around this father and teen daughter who attend a pop concert where they realize they're at the center of a dark and sinister event. Now, I will say that Trap is my favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie since Split. Now, when I say that, I don't mean this is a masterpiece because it's not, and I'll even give my rating out of the way and just share that I think this is a solid 7 out of 10. If nothing else, Trap highlights why M. Night is one of the greatest when it comes to telling a story through subtle visuals that challenge you as you watch, thus keeping you engaged. The direction here is wonderful, not gonna lie, but that screenplay definitely starts to teeter into why myself and others listening believe a co-writer is desperately needed for some of these Shyamalan outings. Nevertheless, Trap is an engaging thriller that had a lot to say about stand culture, influencers, and their impact, and it's led by a powerful performance from Josh Hartnett, who made me really proud as someone who, of course, loves all of his efforts and contributions to the horror genre. So we have Riley and her father, Cooper, who again are attending a concert, a Lady Raven concert, to be more specific for the day. Riley has been obsessed with this artist and is recovering from an illness, so she's just loving every second of this experience. However, this concert, as the title suggests, is a trap by the FBI and local law enforcement, hoping to bring an end to a seven year reign of terror. Now, when it comes to this father daughter duo, Shyamalan does a great job getting us invested in this relationship. Riley's fandom for Lady Raven is so infectious, we just can't help but want to see her enjoy this concert. She's a little girl after all, and it's just heartwarming to see that. And then you have Cooper's passion to give his daughter a confidence boost and be a hip dad is equally just as heartwarming. So more than enough is supplied to give us a reason to invest in this father daughter pairing and their outing for the day. Shyamalan's exploration of influencers and the impact they can have for the greater good was handled well. It's not too preachy. It gets it gets its point across and pushes the narrative forward in a significant way. Shyamalan also dives into the scars our parents can leave, which I internally decided is a callback to Kevin Wendell Crumb in the Unbreakable trilogy. Now, throughout the story, Cooper runs into this woman who is the parent of a girl Riley goes to school with, and he comes across extremely offended at what her child did to Riley and naturally as a parent yes I get that it would be understandable but Cooper's disdain towards her when we when you see his facial expression it just seemed far more rooted in a dark past of his own and Shyamalan connected the dots adequately enough I would say so you have these different puzzle pieces that are being sprinkled throughout to let us know Cooper isn't well something is afoot the biggest being him haunted by the image of someone i'm assuming is long dead but left a major role in his life that's like the biggest thing and lets us know he is not well so we have loads of material to keep our central characters engaging what became frustrating about trap was the exposition dumps especially ones by naive characters who just conveniently needed to be stupid for the story to continue the story does try to explain this away by highlighting that people can be master manipulators and that the person who's responsible for the seven year reign could be a master manipulator and that's all fine and dandy but it's just why is it that everybody that we have to experience the story with is going to be easily manipulated and even voluntarily stupid to a degree i'm talking about one specific person who was voluntarily stupid now what also became frustrated frustrating was the expected but often eye-rolling ridiculous third act Shyamalan is known for and several mini twists that kept the third act going on and only made the law enforcement involved in the story feel even more inept than they already are. There's a moment during the third act where deadly force isn't used because I guess it was requested not to be and I couldn't be completely sold on that since it screamed there's no way in hell law enforcement would drop all deadly force simply to appease a loved one of a suspect. It just I just couldn't completely be sold on that. Now, Shyamalan's direction here is so enthusiastic from the get go. I couldn't help but be completely immersed in this concert. And I didn't even know who Lady Raven was. I still don't care to, but I wanted to enjoy the concert with Riley and Cooper. Shyamalan invites us into this exciting environment and then the suspense and paranoia kicks in. I dug the camera work here. There's a lot of different ranges of or a lot of different dynamic shots that help keep the story thrilling. Close up shots when necessary to place significance on the conversations happening in this loud arena. Attention to certain details when characters are interacting to build suspense and get you on the edge to think that, oh my gosh, 
that certain a certain somebody is going to use this blade to slice this other person's throat. You'll understand what I mean when you see the film. But if you already watched the trailer, you probably already know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to give a spoiler review to those who probably have been avoiding all the trailers and everything about the film. So when it comes to Josh Hartnett. Like I said, he is powerful in this role, and I do mean powerful. If Uncle Michael could see him now, he would be so proud. He excels at displaying paranoia, manipulation, nurturing father, and whatever the scene calls for at the time, he is just firing on all cylinders in this role. The chemistry between him and Donahue, who plays his daughter, is unbelievably convincing. And I, I was completely sold on them being a father and daughter bond or, or pairing. It felt like that was legitimately his daughter. That's how great they are in their roles. I would say the visuals are quite a, quite appealing. So visually, this film is welcoming, stunning. Uh, the color palette and just the fact that, it, again, really highlights the spectacle of the surroundings in which they're at for this concert. It just made you feel like you were there with them and you wanted to experience it. The costume designs, all of it, the whole entire presentation of this concert was chef's kiss. Now, when it came to the pacing, at times I was starting to feel like the third act again was dragging its feet and just padding on to something that could have been resolved by now. But we're having these mini twists that keep being tossed in. And it's like, OK, well, this is why I feel you need a co-writer in night. <laughs> but nonetheless, at the end of the day, this was a solid thriller. It definitely does have its scary moments because of the fact that you are attached to the character that is Riley. You want nothing to happen to Riley. She's innocent in all of this. That innocence is conveyed so well through Donahue that that is what makes what is transpiring scary to a degree because it feels like anything could possibly go wrong and it hurts Riley, who's just here trying to enjoy this concert. So even though it's not told mostly through Riley's lens, Riley is still the heart and soul of the story, I would argue. And that's what kept this terrifying at times, even if you don't feel it's a completely scary movie it is still a very thrilling experience that gets you on the edge and josh hartnett again very powerful in this role very intimidating at times and just i was really on the edge of my seat because of what he was bringing in this role i again would give this film a solid seven out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video